morning. I'm glad you're here. I'm recovering this design board because it's gotten really rough and shabby from daily use. When I made this one, I just used the inexpensive polyester batting you can get at Walmart. And then because the glue I used didn't stick very well around the edges, I went back and hot glued that red ribbon to the edge and then I never really liked it. So today I'm going to recover this one using an 80-20 cotton batting and a really sticky glue. Also, I got two more foam project boards so that I can make two more design boards. Like I said, I use the one that I have every day. And I have some really big projects coming up and I thought it'd be handy to have a few boards to work with. I used the same fabric to back two of these. In hindsight, it would have been less confusing for y'all if I had used three different fabrics. I apologize, I'm still learning all this. So step one is to cut the backing fabric to size. And I'm cutting uh, 28 inch squares here, which I'm accomplishing by folding the fabric in half twice and then putting the folds to the left and bottom edges of the cutting mat and cutting the other two edges at 14 inches. Then I sew the edges all the way around. I fold over a quarter inch and then do that again so that the rough edge of the fabric is covered. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue, come away. My room is a mess, it could use a hand. My favorite TV shows are capturing. I know I must get it right, I must get back in the fight. This can't be a surprise. I think I'll let it slide. Then I put the project board on top and just sort of rough cut the batting so that it's big enough to wrap around the back of the board by a couple inches on each side. I like to make sure it's pulled kind of tight so that the front is as smooth as possible.
Then I glue the edge of the fabric up around the edge of the board. After I get that glued on, I flip it over and glue on the backing. I forgot to do it on the first one here, but I also like to give, uh, to glue the backing on from the middle out. Here I'm using acid-free Yes paste. It dries really fast. I use these boards to plan and test blocks and to transfer pieces of a quilt top from my design wall to the sewing machine.
You see me using the spray adhesive here. I do not recommend that. Uh, it really made the fabric, the, the dye in the fabric kind of bleed in one of these. So I won't be doing that again. The little setup I have here is sort of a space saver situation. The desk is actually a shop table from Home Depot and the drawers are really skinny but they're as wide as the table and they're big enough to hold all my rulers which is very handy. And then I have this uh, purple cutting mat. It's a double sided 24 by 36 cutting mat. And then I also have a 24 by 36 wool pressing mat that fits right on top of it and I can just switch back and forth. It's really handy.
Thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. I know I did.